Last month, we went to Thailand for a Rotary Mid-Year Review. My dad didn't know that I'll be joining. For my mom would like to surprise him, but I think it didn't turn out well. Dudes! <laughs> I got to the airport early in the evening. I just waited for a midnight flight. We landed in Thailand airport at 3 a.m. and went directly in our hotel. Because we are too early, we spent our time at the lobby while waiting for our check-in time. We also went outside to check the place and find a place to eat. Bangkok streets are somewhat similar to the Philippines. Traffic are there and a lot of street foods around the corner. Since it is late January, the place is a bit cooler and pretty nice to just walk around and explore the town. So we just checked in our room. It's a very pretty nice room where you have an awesome view of the Bangkok city. We just rest for a while and went to Icon CM for a mall tour. I really enjoy this place. It is a huge food park where you can find variety of foods. They also installed an artificial floating market where you can get Instagrammable pictures. I also enjoyed shooting this place because, unlike in the malls in the Philippines, where it is very strict to film, here, we have all the liberty to shoot as much as you want without the guards stopping you. After our tour, we went to River Cruise for a dinner and quick fellowship. This is my first time to try this experience, where you can see the beautiful evening city view of Bangkok while enjoying your meal. We started our day with a breakfast buffet. They have a lot of great foods here. And Thai foods is somehow similar to the Philippine foods. But just a bit spicy. We had a quick morning walk and explored the streets while shooting video for a game ball review. And all of a sudden, we bumped into a guy who offers a tour around town. I'm a bit hesitant at first because I don't have an internet connection with me. And in case I am lost, I don't have a communication to my parents. But this floating market has always been my bucket list. And I really don't know when we'll ever go back to this place. So I didn't really care about the risk of part anymore and just follow my heart's compass. Pai Tununta is a very nice tour guide. If you're planning to go here in Bangkok, I highly recommend you. Because we have a lack of time, 
we only have two places to visit. First off, we went to the Grand Palace. I didn't know why but I have a huge appreciation to temples. I admire how people can get creative in creating such design. We paid 500 baht to enter the place. This place is really huge and we only have one and a half hour to go to the place. It has a lot of temples and the part of our trip are crowded tourists. The place has a lot of uh, unique designs but one thing that I really appreciate the most is is the place where they offer fruit and incense to bring the gods. After our tour, we now went to Dam Noen Sadwak Floating Market, a two hours ride from the Grand Palace, one of the most famous floating markets in Thailand. When we got there, we were really shocked because of the price the attendant offers us. She asked us for a 6,000 baht price tour or $172, but unfortunately we don't have that amount of money. But after some negotiation, we came up with 3,000 baht. Still pretty expensive for an hour boat ride, but still, it is something that I don't see in the Philippines. So, it is an opportunity to capture the beauty of this place. Disappointed at first because most of the markets are closed and there are few that are open. We also have a hard time communicating with our boatman because he can't understand English, so he really don't know what we wanted to do. Despite of that, I still do appreciate the place. The Golden R gave me these beautiful colors that really adds visual impact of the place. After our floating market tour, we went back in our hotel to rest. This is our last day here because tomorrow morning will be our flight back to the Philippines. Okay. Didn't have the chance to fly my drone here because when I checked, you need to seek a permit for you to fly here or else you'll end up in prison. So I just woke up early and just capture morning time lapse of the awesome Bangkok view. We just did our usual breakfast routine and after that, mom and friends went for a walk outside to check what's in it around the place. I love walking this time of month because even if it's around 9 or 10 a.m. it is still cold. After our morning walk, we pack our things up to prepare for our last tour. If you love temples, you will surely appreciate this place. Okay. There are a lot of different temples around. But the main attraction here is the 46 meter long reclining Buddha. The largest collection of Buddha images in Thailand. The temple is considered the earliest center for public education in Thailand. Even if it's jam-packed with tourists, I really enjoyed filming here. This is not the usual places in the Philippines. After our tour, we transferred to a small inn where we spent our night. I did a quick evening walk and captured things happening in Bangkok streets at night. I love shooting here. It feels safe and secured. Plus the people are kind enough to be very accommodating when shooting them. 
overall, the experience in our Thailand trip is one for the books. I know there are a lot more this place has to offer, but seeing the things we visited are a great start to share and hopefully inspire other people to visit this place. Especially thanks for mom and dad for this awesome.